Today, I'll show you how to give your map a vignette. It's been a beautiful autumn here at the office, but you know what would make it even more beautiful? Vignettes. A vignette, vignette, is an old photographer's trick where you deepen the tones of the edges to draw attention to the middle. How do I make a vignette? Okay. What are the effects of pouring this over a map? Okay. Sorry, I mean vignette. Okay, focus on the center, visual depth, Soften borders, highlight key areas. Sadly, I couldn't have said it better myself. Except for this. We're working with maps. A vignette adds a sense of mass to our relatively round subject, which sometimes just feels right. It makes your map look a little bit more charming and fun. When I was a young, apple-cheeked photography minor at Central Michigan University, these were the tools we'd use in the darkroom to give our photographic prints a vignette. You'd project the negative onto the photo paper, exposing it to light. The longer the light hit it, the deeper the image burned in. And you'd use this little handmade dodge tool to cast a shadow where you wanted it to be lighter. And here's its partner in crime, the burn tool, which let you do the opposite. Burn light into the middle of the composition and then lighten at the edges. But after a while, we just throw away that piece of cardboard and just use our hands. So if you ever wondered about these weird icons in Photoshop, now you know. So thinking in this dodging and burning way, we can make our map's edges dark, or we can make them light, depending on what we're after. And the light we'll paint with is going to be a gradient from white to black, and we'll use the overlay blend mode. Overlay treats gray as transparent, but the closer you get to black or white, the more it alters the image's tone. So here we are in ArcGIS Pro, and I've drawn this polygon, which will be just slightly bigger than what my eventual map extent will be. And I'll open up the symbology panel for this polygon, and I'm gonna change its solid fill to a gradient fill. And the type of gradient will be circular and continuous. Next, I'll make the outer edge black, and the inner color will be 50% gray, totally gray. The kind of gray that overlay ignores resulting in normal exposure at the center and burned in colors at the edges. And of course, you can always adjust this gradient to get just the sort of vignette that you want. Let's check out a before after using the swipe tool. Look at what a difference a vignette makes. And you wouldn't have even really known it was there, just like in the dark room. But what if our dodge tool wasn't round? What if it was the shape of our area of interest? Well, then I'll just turn on this layer I have of our area of interest, which is beautiful Washington state. And I'm gonna make the fill color that invisible 50% gray. And the outline, I'll make white just so its edge pops a little bit. And I'll give this polygon another line symbol layer and I'll drag it to the bottom. And instead of a solid stroke, I'll make this a gradient stroke. We're gonna fake a shadow. I'll make it super wide, like 100 points, and the color gradient will be black on the inside and then transition to 50% gray at the edge. And the astute among you will have guessed that this is going to get an overlay blend mode, making everything 50% gray appear invisible or normal, and then everything darker will have this deep tone shadow. And you may ask yourself, hey, he never showed us how to make a light vignette. Here's how easy it is. Same concept as before, but instead of fading out to black, we'll fade out to white. You could also make that shadow hack look white too if you wanted. So anyway, this is the gradient for a regular dark vignette, right? But there's no reason that we can't use an interesting pattern. So I'll turn this overlay blend off for a second. Let's take a look at this vignette layer that we've got. I'll open up this gradients color scheme editor and I'll make them all 50% gray, but on the end, it's gonna be 100% transparent. And then I'll add another symbol layer, this time a marker layer, and that's gonna be my pattern. I'll drag this underneath my gradient. And then it's just a matter of playing around with this pattern, whatever you like. I'm to make the point size smaller and I'm going to make them more dense by changing the X step and Y step and I'll shift the odd row so it's more of a brick pattern than a grid pattern. Now when I apply the overview blend mode my vignette has a cute pattern and those are a few different examples of how and why to add vignettes to your map.